Is it normal to lose a lot of hair when washing? Or could it be a sign of something more serious? Today, we're diving into the science behind it and I will tell you what's going on with your hair when you shower. Have you ever noticed clumps of hair in your shower or stuck in your comb? First, you're not alone. We've all panicked at some point when seeing more hair than usual go down the drain. Is hair loss in the shower actually normal? Is there a twist? Maybe. Because while some shedding is totally normal, there are times where you should pay more attention. Let's start with the basics. First of all, What's the deal with hair shedding? Is it really something we should worry about? Let's see. Our hair goes through a natural cycle that involves growing, resting, and yes, shedding. The average person has about 100 to 150,000 hair follicles on their scalp. And guess what? It's totally normal to lose between 50 to 100 hairs every single day. That means if you notice a few hair on your brush or on your pillow, don't panic. It's simply part of the natural life of your hair cycle. To understand why we lose hair in the shower, we need to take a closer look at the hair growth cycle, which has four phases. First phase is the growth phase called anagen. This is the phase where your hair is actually growing. It can last two to seven years. About 90% of the hair on your head are in this phase at any given time. Second phase, the transition phase called Catagen. This phase is short, only about two weeks long, and it's when your hair stops growing and prepares to shed. Then we enter the third phase, the resting phase called telogen. Here, your hair is no longer growing, but stays attached to the scalp. This phase lasts around three months, and about 10 to 15% of your hair are in this phase right now. The fourth phase, the shedding phase called exogen. This is when your hair naturally falls out, reducing hair to make room for new roots. Now, knowing that up to 100 hair can fall daily, you can imagine that seeing some hair coming out while you're having a shower, it's completely normal. That's because water, shampoo and scrubbing loosen the strands that were already in the shedding phase. So why does it always seem like more hair falls out when we wash it? It's actually pretty simple. Think of it this way. Through the day, you're losing hair as part of a natural process, but not every strand immediately falls out. Some remain loosely attached, waiting for the right moment to drop. When you wash your hair, the water and the scrubbing action help dislodge this loose hair. This process is especially noticeable in the shower because the hair gets more slippery, making the fallen strand more obvious. And if you're washing your hair less frequently, you might see even more shedding on the day you do shower. Why? Well, because all of the hair that would have fallen out naturally during the day are being loosened all at once. So you have the effect directly. So how much hair loss is normal in the shower? Should you be worried if you see a lot of hair in the drain? Generally, if you see about 50 to 100 strands after a shower, it's within the normal range. But keep in mind, this can vary on your hair type, how often you wash your hair, and some of the seasonal factors. Some people lose more hair, especially during the fall, so watch out of the season. Now, if you wash your hair only once or twice a week, you might see more than 100 hair in your shower because it's been building up and it's normal to shed all at once when you move these strands. But if you're seeing way more than that, should you do something? If you notice significantly more hair coming out over a long period, or if your hair feels a bit thinner than usual, that would be a sign of something more serious. Conditions like telogen effluvium, alopecia, or hormonal imbalances, and they can cause excessive shedding. Let's talk a bit more about these conditions. Telogen effluvium. It's a condition that can happen after stress, illness, or major life changes, because large number of hair enter to the resting phase all at once. Second condition, alopecia areata. This is an autoimmune condition where your body mistakenly attacks follicles, leading to patchy hair loss. Third one, hormonal imbalances. Conditions like thyroid disorder, or change in hormone levels after childbirth, menopause, or starting new medication can also lead to increased hair loss. If you think your hair loss is abnormal, it's a good idea to consult with a doctor or dermatologist. They can help determine the cause and guide you towards solutions like change in diet, stress management, or hair treatments. So, if you're looking to reduce how much hair you shed in the shower, here are some tips you can follow to keep your hair healthy and strong. First, be gentle when washing. Scrub your scalp gently with your fingertips, not your nails. Harsh scrubbing can cause unnecessary pulling, especially for those with longer hair. Second tip, use a white tooth comb. After washing, use a white tooth comb to detangle your hair while it's wet. This helps prevent breakage. Third, condition regularly. Use a good conditioner to keep your hair hydrated, make it less prone to breakage during washing. You can find a good one on our website, ultiparis.com. Limit heat timing. The excessive heat of blow dryer, strainers, curling irons can weaken your hair, leading to more breakage and shedding. So, in conclusion, is hair loss in the shower normal? Yes, absolutely. But if you're seeing more than usual or are concerned, now you know what sign to look out for. And now you also know how to keep your hair strong and healthy. Remember, a little shedding is absolutely normal, but taking care of your hair can go a long way. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more hair loss tips. See you next time.